Hopefully it means that construction for the phase one of the project, which includes a new diamond, can begin as soon as next month. That vote backed how the project will be paid for, as well as creating an authority to oversee it. It was a move that was met by a majority feeling really excited for the potential of the economic impact of jobs and affordable housing. They hope it will bring. Let's play ball. Richmond City Council has taken a major step forward towards building a new baseball stadium for the Flying Squirrels. It's a project that has been decades in the making. The financing package for the Diamond District shows you that we can work together and say yes to game-changing projects. I, those papers have been adopted. City Council unanimously voted Wednesday to issue $170 million in bonds to fund a new baseball stadium and the immediate infrastructure around it. Richmond will issue the bonds to pay for the new stadium and a newly formed Community Development Authority will issue $40 million in bonds with the city's backing for infrastructure costs. We are a can-do council and we can work together. The plan for the funding of the project changed in February. City officials came forward saying this new plan will save more than $200 million over 30 years. Hello, council members. The majority and attendance of the meeting showed their support, saying they want to keep the squirrels in Richmond. That can't happen without a new stadium, per Major League Baseball's rules, that the facility needs to get up to standards by 2026. I am so glad today is here. Others expressed excitement around the potential of a boost to the economy and the potential of jobs. If we Give me an opportunity work in the city where I live and I raise my son. Only one person voiced opposition to the project. They shared their concerns over feeling like there was a lack of community input into the funding and city residents being more on the hook if it fails. Right now, public confidence in our city's elected leaders is not the highest it's ever been. And I am concerned to see this go through without um, additional input from your residents. City Council addressed those concerns and why they ultimately would still back the changes. What I really thought of was the risk of losing the squirrels. I thought of the risk of missing the deadline to sell our bonds to be able to recapture those sales tax. It is more of a risk for the city. It feels like a calculated conservative risk. Um, so I am here to support it. Officials expect to get shovels in the ground this summer. Everyone is excited about this. Just wanted to say thank you. Very much. It's important to note that this doesn't mean the squirrels season stops to tear down the old stadium. The new stadium will be built on a different piece of property. The city has said in the past that if construction gets underway this summer, they believe the project will be completed in time for that 2026 deadline for a new home for the squirrels. In the studio, I'm Maggie Marshall, CBS 6 News.